So this is just a real quick simulation of what everyone's been talking about uh, with respect to a, uh, a NAND mirroring attack or a NAND flash attack. Uh, I'm simulating this on a jailbroken iPod Touch running iOS 9.0. Now I'm not actually attacking the NAND here, obviously. I, I don't have chip programmers and all the other fun hardware that that takes. But what I can do is I can show you how transposing two files uh, on a jailbroken uh, iPhone uh, can basically give you the same effect. Now the actual device, uh, Farouk's device, uh, doesn't need to be jailbroken for this to work if you're performing a NAND attack. What I'm doing here is I'm showing you how I can copy two different files back over uh, the file system to remove any evidence that there were ever any failed passcode attempts. It's a pretty straightforward technique on a jailbroken device. On an actual uh, piece of evidence, what would happen is that NAND chip would be removed and those blocks would be copied back over. So you make a copy of the chip, uh, you essentially copy these blocks that contain <clears throat> this portion of the file system, or you could copy the entire file system. Then you go and try five passcode attempts. That doesn't work. You flash back the uh, original data. Uh, from that copy that you made. Uh, try five more, that doesn't work, and so on. There are ways, obviously, to make this a lot more efficient um, in a hardware setting, but this will just give you a quick demonstration of, of what we're talking about here so you understand. So this device has a passcode of all zeros, which gets you into the device. Uh, this, this is the same version, we believe, that Farouk's phone was running 9.0. Um, I'm going to try here just five different wrong passcodes two, three, four. Now you can see when you get to the fifth, that's when you start seeing that small delay start to kick in. So I'll wait for that to complete here. Now I'm logged in in a separate window into the device <clears throat> and I've just run a command that will restore uh, two property list files. There's a, uh, uh, there's a springboard property list as well as a, uh, a lock state journal property list. So I'm overwriting those two files with the data that they contained before I tried the failed passcode attempts. And then I rebooted the phone. Uh, in an actual hardware setting, if you're attacking the NAND, this would probably be made a little more efficient by use of either uh, socketing the chip so that you could switch it out pretty quickly, uh, or you might even be able to simulate the NAND itself with a chip programmer based on the image. I'm, I'm not really sure about that, but obviously there are ways to, to make this faster. Um, IP box from iOS 8 can enter the passcodes uh, through the USB. There are also light sensors that IP box use to determine when the phone actually was broken. Um, so we're back up here, so I'll show you. Now I tried five passcodes. You would expect that this would think that five had already been tried, and at this point would start giving me delays and threatening to wipe the device. But as you can see, I could try five more uh, without any additional time delay. Uh, once you uh, replace these files essentially and reboot the device, the phone has no idea that you tried five more. So I've now tried 10 passcodes, so I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to restore these files back and reboot the phone. And again, this is just part of the, uh, the file system. This is part of the iOS file system. There's nothing magical going on here. Uh, the passcode attempts are not stored in NVRAM, as was once thought. Uh, they don't appear to be stored uh, in effaceable storage, uh, which you wouldn't really expect anyway. Uh, so there are no real complicated places on the chip that, uh, that we even need to be able to read and write. We're talking about just basic file system uh, copies here. This should be very easy to do with, a, uh, with the, the right equipment uh, and the right know-how. So we're rebooting here for a second time after resetting everything. And we'll try five more passcodes just to demonstrate that I could keep trying these all day and I'm not going to end up with a delay. Obviously, it's a, a, going to be a much uh, faster process if I'm entering these through the USB, if I've got light sensors and whatnot. But this should demonstrate to you that there are ways to get a virtually unlimited uh, number of passcode attempts on these devices.